Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. I'm your host, Colors Fade, also known as Christopher Holmes from the Friendly Gaming Network. This is episode 13. This area that we're clearing is called the South Baragost Road. Last episode we cleared off the North Nashkel Road. So we're working our way back towards Baragost. And then we're going to head west out of Baragas to High Hedge, trying to finish up a few little quests, minor quests in our journal. We have much evil to fight. We have no time for idleness. <laughs> and basically just trying to squeeze out some experience to make some levels because it's so critical in a game like Baldur's Gate to take advantage of every opportunity to earn experience and make coin and make levels and our inventory is pretty full so we one of the things I might do actually here is go all the way up we've reached the top of the map I think I'm gonna go to Baragost sell a bunch of stuff and then come back down and clear this whole map because if we run into any more loot especially bandit wise This is the jovial juggler. I think we can sell things of in course. there. But at any rate, what I was going to say was, uh, we just don't have the inventory space anymore. Can I assist you? Camaraderie, adventure. Officer Vi. Ah, Kane. I thought it might be you. These southern parts are set quite a fire with talk of your work in Nashkel. I am Officer Vi of the Flaming Fist, and to be honest, I could use your help. I am honored to be found worthy of your notice, officer. How may I be of assistance? My contingent and I are cut off from Baldur's Gate. We haven't received any new orders for close to a week, and, to be honest, I don't like the feel of this at all. The bandit raids have been getting worse since you returned from Nashkel. I used to think that they were just your usual brigands out to make a quick buck in troubled times, but not anymore. They're working for someone. One way or another, I've got to get my troops back to the gate. I'll pay 50 gold pieces for every bandit scalp that you can bring me and spread the news. I want this whole region cleared before winter comes. So she'll take bandit scalps. So the scalps that I was saying in last episode that you should save, this is why can you want to do it. You? you have been busy, I see. Well, keep at it. The more bandit scalps I have, the better. So we have bandit scalps, and I'm trying to think of who we gave them to. Right there, Agantis. So we'll sell those. Sell all of them. Done. There we go. So she gives us cash for scalps, which is awesome. Oh, who is this over here? Stop. Who are you? Bjornin. I don't know who this guy is. So I'm going to save the game real quick, and then I'm going to come over and talk to him. Yes? They did quite a number on me, those half-ogres. There's a band of them fortifying themselves in the mountains south, southwest of here. If you could give them a taste of justice, that would do me proud. Half ogres near Baragost. Yes. So, have you tested your steel against those half ogres I mentioned? Apparently not. Those would be a different set of half ogres then. Okay. We ran into some half ogres, but not the ones he's talking about. I got some cheap beer for ya. Oh, nothing right now. There's this guy coming. Girk. Hi. So everyone's heard. Everyone's a rubber knucker then, is that it? Old Girk had his famous cloak stolen right off his back by a bunch of paltry Tesloid. Yeah, yeah, it's old news, and if you make one crack about the cloakwood, being an appropriate place to lose it, at least I'll put your liver on the menu. Now move on and let the next people in line have their laugh. So, Girk's cloak was lost in the cloakwood of all ironic places. You want some whiskey? Show me your list of services. He only has beds, so we can't sell anything there, so that's fine. But, we found Officer Vi. We know where to come back when we need to sell more scalps. Good on you if you save the day. And we got a few more quests, which is great. Oh, here comes Elminster. 
Elminster, he now has a proper name. Well, now, our paths cross once more. I suppose proper introductions are in order, as we will no doubt meet again. My name is Elminster. I have heard nothing but tales of thy exploits in the time we have been apart. It would seem that thou art destined to have quite the impact on the Sword Coast. Quite the burden for one so young. Just doing what I thought was best. That certainly seems to be the case. Thine actions are a testament to charity and free will, whether intentional or not. But enough of my ramblings. Thou hast a long journey ahead of thee, and I will not have my meanderings delay thee. I will impart one piece of information before I go, though. Tis hardly a surprise, I am sure. The bandits that thou dost seek make a habit of traveling in the northeast. With this, I shall take my leave. We already knew that, because... The Larswood shows up, but it's still pretty cool. Chloe, Kane, Kane! Someone who's in the jovial juggler gave me a gold piece to come find you. Take a moment, child. I think I know who you are talking about. Do you mean Officer Vi? We have already spoken with her. Yeah, she's really nice, isn't she? Well, I better go to Mama starts to worry. Time more and be with you. Yeah, so. The jovial juggler, Officer Vi. Of course. Uh-oh, this place is open, but nobody's home. Because it's nighttime? That's interesting. Mm. No sooner said than done. Let's see, there's Landron's house, Firebrand, Feldpost Inn. You can buy and sell stuff at Feldpost Inn, I believe. So that's what we're going to do before we head south again. The Cloakwood has been mentioned a couple times now. That is one of my most favorite series of maps in the entire Baldur's Gate game. I love the Cloakwood. That whole experience, that whole quest along there is awesome. I love those maps. And I can't wait to get to it. But in the meantime, we have a ways to go. Bartender. A waste of my talents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want some whiskey? Now we can buy and sell some stuff. Alright, I want to sell... Oh, he doesn't take the bastard swords, but he will take the heavy leather armor. These things are heavy. They're like 15 apiece. And he'll take this bloodstone ring, which is great. And chain mail. Joseph's Greenstone Ring. That's in the mine in Nashville. I need to find out how to get that back to somebody important. I don't know who Joseph is or where his Greenstone Ring belongs, but... Well, the big thing here is that we can sell all this... all these gems. And make some coin these potions. I don't want those, but they're good for selling. I'm certainly not going to do anything with that. Vile and Mysterious Liquid. These are just taking up inventory slots. And that's it. Now, somewhere in there, in one of those notes, we read Servant Mullahay. Transig, and he's staying at Feld's Posts Inn. We need to find Transig. He's supposed to be here somewhere. So let's see if he's upstairs somewhere. Transig. There he is. No sooner said than done. Well, look at here. Okay. Me like what you want? Was a little trouble. This way. I'll give him trouble. What is your command? It is a fine day that to come. As directed. Hello. If Tempus will get everybody to kind of circle around this guy. Make it quick. A waste of me like these men want a little trouble. Why do you bother me? Can't you see that I'm in a hurry to get out of this damn town? <laughs> Stop where you are. We know what you're all about. Surrender and spill your guts. You know what I'm up to, eh? Well, maybe something you don't know about is my magic skills. You might not believe me, 
but if you ain't out of my face in the next five seconds, I'll blast you the kingdom come. A mage. <laughs> We're not afraid of any mage. If you want to fight, then bring it on. I warned you. Now you pay the price. All right. Yes. I'm going to swing for the fences on this sucker. Let's talk so are you. By hell. And so are you. By temper shield. And so are you. Yep. And you're going to backstab the heck out of it. Whatever they need. And you do this. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, 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 do that. Not afraid of rubble, I give up. Please let me live. I'll tell you anything you want to know. Spill your guts, then. If what you say satisfies us, then we'll let you live. Okay, okay, I'll talk. I'm a messenger for a man named Tezok. I just ferry messages between him and a fat priest named Mullahay. I meet with Tezok at either... Peldvale or Larswood, east of the friendly arm in. Tezak pays me good, so I keep my yap shut. Can I go now? We have to kill you, otherwise you might warn this Tezak. I'm not gonna go down without a fight. What? It doesn't matter. Perfect. Minsk. Let's see. Oh, my character killed him. Perfect. Alright. Make it quick. No sooner said than done. Oh, and he's got magic stuff. We like that. What's his little note say? Transic. I'm perplexed as to why Mullahe has not communicated with us in some while. You are to go to the mines and find out the condition of his operation. You are also to collect any iron that may have been stolen by the kobolds. Our next raid will most likely take place at... Peldvale or Larswood. So visit either of those areas and track us back to our camp. Hmm. Alrighty then. Yes? I should travel to Larswood or Peldvale next. It appears that the bandit attacks are coming from there. Nothing in there? Well, there's Feldpost's in. So we sold a bunch of stuff. A which is what I wanted to do. Talents. No sooner said than done. And now I want to go clear this map to the south. What we call the South Baragost Road. South Baragost Road. Alright, where are we at? Right here at the road. Of course. The part that disappoints me right now this second is I've got this stinking helmet. Oh, I guess when I clicked on this. It doesn't work as a group. Mm, group infravision. That's an option in... That's an option in Baldur's Gate 2, I know. Now, I don't know if it's an option here. Alternate render, what's that do? Enable DirectX rendering support. Only use this if you experience graphical problems using the default render. You must restart the game for changes to take effect. Nearest neighbor scaling. Enable this option to render creature and spell animations using the nearest neighbor method. Disable it to apply a linear scaling method, which smooths out the sprites for a softer, slightly out of focus look. These are graphics options. These aren't what I want. Gameplay options. Okay. Story mode, what's that? The party gains all the benefits of easy difficulty and they cannot die in combat, no. Enable cloud saves. Ooh, use steam cloud saves, that might be good. Area map background. Highlight accessible terrain on the area map. Oh, that'd be neat. But I'm not going to turn it on. Multiplayer chat box. Show the chat box in multiplayer games. I'm not using multiplayer games. Turn on gore for sure. Weather, yes. Group in for vision, that's what I want. Rest up until healed. Repeatedly cast healing spells on rest until fully healed. Otherwise, currently memorized healing spells are cast once on rest. This option does not work in multiplayer. I don't care about that. Max hit point on level up. No difficulty base damage increases. Prevent your characters from taking more damage on difficulty settings higher than core rules. Additional enemies will still spawn. Oh, that'd be nice if you want to play with some of the higher difficulties. I could see that being cool. Don't melee after depleting one ammo stack. 
Only switch to melee after de depleting all equipped ammo stacks. True. Thank you. Well, that's cool. So there's some nice options there, but that's what I wanted. Group in for visions. Yeah. Yes. That's what I wanted. Okay. A waste of my talents. Because I want to be able to see my characters. I want to be able to see enemies. And I put that stinking helm on, and the whole idea was to do that. And if I have half elves or elves in my group, then their infravision should count, right? Alright, so there's this sunken house out here. A submerged house. Gast attacks mints from where? From where? Where is it? Attacks dying here. Oh shit. Okay, um, back this way. Turn around. These are ghasts, and these things hate us. Branwin. Let's let's get this going, honey. I don't think she can hit it with her bow and arrow. Maybe she can, but these what? guys require magic. My honor is my life. Guard, what does guard do? Hmm. What's he got for special stuff? He's got protection from evil. This is why I like having a paladins. Detect evil and lay on hands. I'm going to do protection from evil. And New point. I punch. Make it quick. And he held me. I hate that. I absolutely hate that. It's the worst. Okay, and color spray doesn't work against these guys. I'm almost 100% certain, so there's no big deal with doing that. What I need to do is just chromatic orb them and stuff like that. What happened? He barely injured. It takes three damage from Dinah here. Gas save versus spell 17. So kill it. Helm, give me strength. Yeah. Can I get over there? Oh god, I gotta go around. Oh no. Son of a buck. Hello. You need to heal these guys. Dine hair. What else you got with for me? Oh, and a chant has got held. Everybody's held. Oh, these things are gonna kill us. We're gonna die. Gasts are the worst. Yeah, you're dead. There goes Minsk. There goes me. Brandwin's dead. Ah, uh, forget it. Okay. Um, hmm. With the guests, a waste of my talents. I'm just not sure that we can beat the guests. We got protection from evil and bless up, and we still got smoked. So I'm thinking that that's not not a good idea. We may not be able to clear this map yet. We need some more levels and better saves so we can avoid those avoid being held. So let's look at a couple things here. If we go this direction, we unearth that piece of land. And if we go to a the north... Of my talents. Nothing. So we're going to go to Bergast. We're going to go back here. A waste of my talents. And we're going to go to High Hedge, because I don't think High Hedge has ghasts, but I know it has gnolls. What 
is this house over here? <laughs> One of the things that's kind of charming about Baldur's Gate is you can just... You can pick your way into these houses if you want. <laughs> you can lockpick them and just crawl into people's houses and steal stuff. If you want to be the evil type. So here's High Hedge. There's not a whole lot going on around here of except course. for a bunch of gnolls. So we're going to try to recover. Oh, here we go. There's a bunch of gnolls right there. What? Emily. Huh, you're this way. Right. That on? You need to kill What's somebody, Brandon needs to kill somebody, and Ajantis needs to kill somebody, and everybody needs to just yep. go stab somebody. Make it Die, Skull. Give me strength! I care not. Ooh. Brandon. Heal the man. Whatever they need. Man. These guys are harsh. By Temple Shield. It is a fine day to die. Yes? Tempest! Here's a victory! What? Go All right. for the ice pool! Go for the ice pool! Oh, there we go. No sooner said than done. Dropped them all. Yeah! <laughs> the Jantus. Make it quick. All right. First a waste of my talent. little batch of gnolls taken care of. High Hedge is actually just almost exactly due west of where we came in, but this is typical. Oh, what is this? Skeleton, hurry up. Let's see. Is your command. Turn and down. Yes. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna Let's try. Talk more fight. My honor is my life. Does he get turn undead? When does he get turn undead? Yeah. When do paladins get Hello. turn undead? <laughs> You're a queer fellow. Not sure. They wish my ear. Helm, give me strength. Oh, well, she turned one of them. What? Cool it's kind of the problem is they run away so fast. It's one of the problems with using turn. Yes, of course. This group shows promise exceptional. <laughs> Skeletons, he's got throwing stars and he's got a a skull. I can't remember if the skulls are worth anything or not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna grab that one and see. Only one though. What you want? I right. done had enough of this. Oh, 
What? Of course. I wish I could get this chat window, this this display window here to to be a little bit bigger. But I'm just not sure how to get that. Graphics. Scale user interface, what's that do? Stretch the UI to fill the available screen space when the window is resized, otherwise the UI will shrink as the screen resolution increases. If your screen's resolution is smaller, this option will have no effect. Hmm. Zoom block. Reset the zoom level to the default value and prevent any subsequent attempts to zoom in or out. No, I don't. Nearest neighbor scaling alter. No, I don't want any of that stuff. So, grayscale on pause. I like that. Highlight selected sprite. Did there always show character hit point? Oh, is this... Display the current and maximum hit points of each party member on their portrait. Yes. Show health bars. Ooh. I can turn those off. But I kind of like having them on. So, that's interesting though. I can at least turn those off because those, those hit point bars are not part of the default. Oh shit, look at this. Skeletons everywhere. Ajanta, she need to just get in there and kill something. You point, I punch. Make it quick. Yep. That called. Go for the eyes, fool. Go for the eyes. Rask! Oh no. No. Okay. Dine here. Emuin. Emuin, you need to get over here and use a bow and arrow. Start shooting. Dine here. Ninety degrees. You need to point in this direction. Oh, <laughs> she got one in the fall down. Oh man. Who's this? Branwen. Okay. Emily, shoot this guy. Yes. Let's talk more fight. My honor is my life. <laughs> Emma and switch to that. What is going on here? You need to kill things. Helm, give me strength. Ooh. That was some rockin'. Make it quick. Whatever they need. Emma yeah. win. Made a level. Sweet. Shoot this guy while he's down. He'll be really vulnerable. Yes? A waste of my talents. Dinah here is weapon and usable. She's oh, that's okay. It's just that. Make it quick. Perfect. Oh jeez. So skeletons and then yes? gnolls all in one shot. A waste of my talents. <laughs> I don't think those skeletons are worth anything, and I'm not sure the throwing daggers are either. Let's talk. I can't pick them up anyways because I don't have any inventory space. I'm going to grab the throwing daggers just in case this is something that stacks really nicely and can be sold. What? It may just be better better off selling it, but it might also be useful to give it to Dinah here. No sooner said than done. Yeah. Branwen's gonna heal Emoen, and so Emoen made a level, and Agentis made a level. So 
here we go. We're going to level up a little bit. Agentus. Level up. He gets another point in something, so I can make it two-handed sword or a longbow. I can give him two-handed weapon style. Allows the character to use two-handed melee weapon and receive special bonuses. Proficient in one, the wielder gets plus one bonus to damage rolls, minus two bonus to speed factor, and the ability to score critical hits on a roll of 19 or 20 instead of just 20. Hell yeah. Um, well, that's a question. Do you want him to save sword and shield style? Anyone who picked the seal as basic protection. Let's see. Proficient slot one, the wielder gets a minus two bonus to AC against missile weapons. That's not great. The wielder gets a minus four bonus to AC against most weapons. Mm. Any one-handed melee weapon in combination with a shield will receive the aforementioned bonus. Single weapon style. The wielder gets a minus one bonus to AC and inflicts critical damage on attack roll. I am going to choose two-handed weapon style because I envision him going with a two-handed weapon eventually when we find a good one. So that's what I'm going to do. And then, let's see. Abilities. To hit, to damage, open doors, weight allowance, missile adjustment. Skills, lay on hands, amount six. Class, he's a paladin, may wear helmets. May not exceed specialization in any weapon class. May detect evil once per day, per level. Starts at first level, may cast protection from evil, may turn undead as a cleric two levels lower starting at level three. So he can now turn undead and he's got high charisma. He's a lower level than a cleric, but it's at least something worth having, I think. She's going to level up and become a fourth level thief. And that means that we're going to want to dual class her to a wizard very, very, very soon. Um, I don't care about her having a proficiency in short sword. I much rather care about her having the one in the short bow, but she doesn't have it. We're going to dual class her to a wizard, so she's going to need something like a sling. So we're just going to give her the proficiency in the sling now, and then we're going to do find traps, open locks, it's more important that she find traps than, than she actually open locks. I'm, I I kind of don't care about her opening locks, so I'm just going to give her all the points and find traps. I want to max that out. Because this, this becomes important in the game. So the question is, do I want to dual class her now or wait till level 5? Um, I think level 5 because then she can get like 100% and find traps. Uh, so that's what we're going to do with her. And plus, Make it quick. she's going to have a period of time there where she can't use her thieving skills. And what we're really hoping is, um, what I'm really hoping is that that, we, that that coincides with us getting to Koren and making him our thief, which means we'd have to boot a Jantus out. But I think Koren is going to end up being a really good character for us to have. He or Jantus. But part of the reason I want to do this is I've just never multi-classed Imoen as a wizard before. It's it's something that she already is when you get to Baldur's Gate 2. She's already set up that way. I've never multi-classed her as a wizard in Baldur's Gate 1. I've always just played her as a straight thief because she's an awesome thief. But my recollection of this game is that wizards are pretty valuable later in the game and I'm already seeing the value of having Dinah here in the group several times when she's used color spray to knock people out so I think having two wizards might be pretty cool and Emma when later on as a wizard what makes her neat is that she can shoot a bow and arrow because she's dual class. My honor is my Yes. Whatever they need. So Agantis, get up here. Now 
don't think his high charisma is helping much. What is your command? Oh, see, she got it. Hers made everybody run. My, what you want? my guy needs to come no up here and help kill these dudes. That. Oh, come on, everybody, back this way. It's the only thing I don't like about that is they start running all over the place and. But it is a good way to keep them all from like firing at you and stuff. Turn undead. It works so much better in a small space where they can't run off. Here on the world map, here on these maps like this, they're all. Go for the eyes, Go for the eyes. Rusk! Death to you all. Several skeletons dead. We like that. And we're going to create the perfect surrounding to this. And then we'll sneak in on high edge and find the uh, the mages. I mean the the knolls, but the mage too. High Hedge is the home to a reclusive mage. Uh-oh. There's a bear here. Brown bear. He's worth about 650 experience points. Oh, and now he turned mad. He can hit really hard. He hits like a truck. Yeah, you just saw it right there. <laughs> he hit me good. Alright. Yes? Hardcore. This whole exercise of, of clearing the fog of war on these maps, though, is one of the huge reasons that I consider the second Baldur's Gate game to be superior to the first, because it doesn't really do that. Uh oh, a ghoul. Well, that's better than a ghast. Alright, there's two of them. Branwen? I want you to get us ready. Two point, I punch. By hell, with Helm's blessing. I don't. Of course. I don't think these guys are affected by turn undead at all, but. My honor is yeah. Oh my goodness! I blew that one up. That was harsh. No sooner said than done. Let's talk more squeaky wheel. Get the kick. Squeaky wheel. Yes. So we have some kind of house over here. With the door. Hmm. What? No sooner said than done. It's, uh, yep. locked. I'm gone. Emma, when, what can you make of that? Lockpick failed still? Oh my goodness. I'm still failing lockpicks. <laughs> I haven't make picked a lock yet in this game. No sooner said than done. Uh. No sooner said than done. Uh oh. Gosh. Fireball would be a whole lot of fun if we had it. But we don't. Yes. Cool, Helm. 
Give me strength! I Whatever they need. The oral is my blade will cut you down to size. You point, I punch. <laughs> Go for the eyes, boo! What? Go for the eyes! <laughs> These guys are making fight. fast work of this. Cool one, Make it quick. Ah. Yes, of course. Oh, come on, guys. Don't trample all over each other. Just get it done. What? This one that ran off in this direction. Let's go find him. Where'd he go? We didn't run that far away, did he? Oh, and there's a bunch more. You point. I split my guys up here. All right. Make it quick. No sooner said than done. I don't remember High Hedge being surrounded by a whole bunch of skeletons. I remember I remember some skeletons, but not a lot. I remember gnolls mostly, but this is this has been an interesting throwback to my brain here. So here's Keevan. He is a ranger like Minsk, except unlike Minsk, he's actually good at being ranger. Um and you can bring him into your party, and then you can kick him out one time. And if you bring him into your party and kick him out a second time, he never comes back. Um, he's pretty good with a bow and arrow, I think, if I remember correctly. He has a total of 81 ability points, which is actually 10 more than Minsk has. Uh, but he's not much of a frontline fighter, and that's why we keep Minsk and also, you know, giant space hamster kind of thing. So, I'm not even going to invite... Um, keep on into our party right now. There's no reason to. I don't have. Kivan is a character that. Kivan is a character that I actually kind of wish would have made it into Baldur's Gate 2. Um, instead, we get Valgir, who yes. I didn't really care for. And I don't know if it was just because of the Let's voice actor or what, but. Uh, Hell. You. My temper shield. You. <laughs> You're a queer you fellow. You guys Go take here. care of that one. Do that. Go for the eyes. My knees. Go for the eyes. <laughs> Emma, and he just want? ran up on you. You need to switch. My blade will cut you down to size. All right. Come on. Everybody on this last one. Perfect. A waste of my talents. These boots were made no less. I've reached a point in the game where I no longer care about care about picking up the heavy weaponry. A waste of my talent. That's for sure. It's just like give me the gems and the cash now. We're done being super poor. So this is it. High hedge. We've not cleared the map, but we've come darn close. I think before we go inside we will clear the map. I don't think there's much else Hello, out here. Pal. Permidian Stark. Whoa, slow down. I'm trying to plan the grandest of heists here. With all you're tromping about, I can't hear a word I'm thinking. A heist? That's not particularly noble or uh, legal of you. Fine, then. I'll let you take care of all that noble and legal stuff, and I'll get on with being a thief. Now get lost. Okay. I have no idea what happens if you ingratiate yourself to him. I really don't care because I hate thieves. <laughs> I hate thieves in every part of my life. Real, imagined, doesn't matter. I hate thieves. My honor is my life. What is your command? Yep. Actually, get her over here. Give us victory! 
spend your last one right about there. And M1, shoot. Awesome. Laid out some doggies. Hello. What? Give us victory! Of course. You point, I punch. I wonder how Minsk feels about that, being a ranger. Whatever they need. And I'm over here just like, kill. <laughs> You're a queer fellow. By My beam will cut you down to size. Helm, give me strength. Bunch yes. of rabid dogs. No sooner said than done. Alright. That is a map that is clear. Which is a beautiful thing. Inside this place is a wizard who will sell spells. Spells that we often need. Thank you for your kind of <laughs> Branwen, let's see, what do we want to do here? Um, she has there's some things I want to identify. Before we end this episode, yep, there's this and this. That can't be identified, so she's going to take two of those. I'm going to do two identifies, and I'm going to do another magic missile just so I have all those. And then we're going to sleep right outside a high hedge can be quite dangerous. You can often Red get... What is your command? You can often get ambushed. That's what I was going to finish the thought with. Let's see. Wand of magic missiles. We knew what that was. This is a plus one ring? Yeah, ring of princess plus one. Armor class saving throws. So, keep the wand of missiles, but the the ring that would put me at armor class minus one I believe yep so that makes me and Minsk the same and that's great what? we're gonna need that because in here let's see what Hello. what do we have for Branwen spells oh yeah she has extra spells and we need to memorize these um, protection from evil when this spell is cast, creates a ma magical barrier around the recipient at a distance of one foot. The barrier moves with the recipient and has two major effects. First, all attacks made by evil or evilly enchanted creatures against the protected creature receive a penalty of minus two to each attack roll. And second, summon demons cannot target the protected creature, which is awesome. Doom. Causes a uh, failure for the duration of the spell. The target receives minus two penalty to all his rolls, including Thaco and saving throws. There are no saving throws for this spell, so I'm going to grab Doom just because of what's coming. Um, Did I wish my ear? Check her spells one more time. I'm going to remove those two. Add another magic missile and a chromatic orb, and then we're gonna rest again. Uh oh, and it's a ghast. Crud! All right. Of course. By temper shield. That call. By helm. Yeah, I know. By helm, all right. Um, protection from evil. Cast it on him. Let's talk more. Yes, fight. of course. Pull me once, wheels, oh, good. We got the ghast. What? Yes. Uh, see, this is. That's why I like having a paladin in the group. Hmm. It's going to be really hard for me to justify getting rid of a Jantus to bring Corrin into the group because he is a a thief. And he is a really good thief. 20 decks. Really good with the longbow, but...
No sooner said than done. This is the problem right here. Okay. Doom. Doom. Make it quick. Minsk. Kill this guy. My honor is my life. Protection from evil. I don't know that that's it. I don't know that he counts as an evil creature. Whatever they need. But just in case he does. There we go. Awesome. Oh man. That's the easiest that encounter has ever got for me. I, I, my recollection of playing this game is I have often had to reload and reload and reload to get through that guy. Yes. Oh, that's a relief, man. Of course. Okay. So just in case, I, I'm sure there's only one of those guys, but just in case there's two. And here we go. What? A waste of my talents. This is Thalantir. I be Thalantir, a mighty mage of Baragost. I don't have much patience for strangers on my property. Do us both a favor and move along. Unless, of course, you have magic for sale. From the looks of you, you couldn't afford the items I have for sale. Why do I live in such a <laughs> I, sin <laughs> I sincerely hope you have some reason for bothering me. I've already stated that I wish you to leave. Let's see. Rumors talk of a powerful mage that lives out here. Did you? I would like to speak with you. Rumors? Bah! There is no mage here that wishes to speak or be spoken of. Unless, of course, if you have magic that you wish to sell. We're interested in selling or even buying magical items. What do you have? He's a crusty old fart. But he does have magic items. He's got all these potions. And he's got all these spells. And he's got a potion case, which is really nice. 250 bucks? Hell yeah! I'm buying a potion case. That's a new thing. That wasn't in the original game. Um, he's got an identify spell. I am gonna want that for when Emelin. Yeah, I'm gonna want a bunch of stuff when Emelin decides to do it. Mirror image is a great spell. Um, should see about her. What spells can she not use? She can't use hold person, for instance. That's another great reason to multi-class in into a mage, is so that she can use a spell like hold person. Because uh, Dinah here can't do it. He's got some wands. He's got some really expensive stuff. I don't... What the hell is that? The Horn of Kazgaroth. Immunity to first and level spells. Armor class plus five versus missile attacks. Save versus a whole bunch of saves. Damage to the user is unknown. The claw of Kazgaroth. Wow. These are neat looking items. All right. Um, and the robe. Robe. He's got some robes. Robe of the good archmage. These are really expensive. So that's why they're grayed out because we don't have even close to the right amount of money for it. But that's cool. He's got that stuff. Make it quick. So that's high hedge. Of course. For you. And if we take a look at the world map, the high hedge. There's a there's a region out here that's worth going to below Candlekeep, and we should keep working our way down into these areas. So I think that's what we're gonna do. But this episode is way, 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 way too long. So, my thanks to everyone for watching this version of Let's Play, this edition of Let's Play. And on the next one, we'll continue to adventure along the countryside. And if you're more interested in just um, seeing the main quest, then skip ahead to the episode where we go to Larswood. It should be labeled in the, the massive uh, videos in this series. So if you just want to see the main quest stuff, skip ahead to Larswood. That's when it that's when it gets really interesting. But in the meantime, we're leveling and running around and, and making progress. So thank you everybody for watching Let's Play and I'll see you next time.